These are real uh, cine cameras, not uh, uh, HD or TV cameras. So it's much better to use conventional tools for exposure, such as uh, light meters. And we always try to light to 354. If you've got depth, some people like shallow depth of focus all the time. You need a, 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 um, a DOP who's going to concentrate solely on lighting that set. You, you, it's a very difficult job for DOP on the set because it's changing every every setup you do, mm -hmm. and your operating crew, your operator, your focus, well, your grip, they've got their jobs to do in camera. And that's what my job is with, with students in camera crews. My sole job is to make, or try to make them use the same discipline that we've always had on film cameras, of moving for these cameras, because it works. The only difference is you've got much more shallow depth of focus, and also they work really well in low light. So you don't have to put as much light. Okay. Yeah. And immediately what I'm going to do is seal this one as exposed. So before doing anything, if someone is talking to me, I don't care. This is the most important thing I have to do, to identify that this has been exposed. Or oh, basically, I've got footage on it. Okay? Yeah. Now, I can just put it quietly, always in the box, because it's going to be watching around you, you're going to be in the mud, you don't want this to get damaged at any cost. And then you can give your loader this one, and he can put it. Very simply, you've got system setting frame rate, mm -hmm. so I guess you'll be using 25. Mm -hmm. uh, then you'll feel base setting here, so shooting mode Cine EI, you want to use Cine EI, because yep. yeah, that turns off all of the video parameters in the camera and reduces the possibility of things going wrong, uh, which they can do. And we're going to be recording RAW, the color space S gamut 3 dot Cine. Okay, so this is the slightly reduced colour space to make it easier for grading. That'll be recording on the S by S card. Unaffected on the RAW, because the RAW is not changed. Yeah. Yeah. They've focused on the bullets, they sign contracts, they won't pull on T2. That's because they've heard quite a lot that, where they, they, in their contract they won't pull on to T2. Um, uh, I've never heard that. I've never heard that. And that's not, that's not what I tell them at the film schools. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you can't tell you can't tell the DOP what aperture. Well, that's why that's what I'm saying. That's no, you can't do that. Yeah. But 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 you are um, you are opening a can of worms by shooting everything wide open on set because it runs the risk of stuff being soft. And with schedule so tight, you can't you can't go back next day and reshoot. And if, if a guy's looking through this, the image is so crisp and clean, and the aperture is coming off here, you can't tell. The editors will be in. They sync up the sound and we go into theater 7 here and watch print at, at 7.30 and you, on a big screen and you know everything's fine. For performance, with sound, for technical side, focus, exposure, fine. Yeah. But the old fashioned way of learning, this makes you lazy. It makes directors lazy, yeah? yeah? It's a, focus point is a real art. And not, it's not, in 26 years, I think I never got a shot soft, but if I did get it soft, the operator could see through the film ground glass, and I, I, you knew when you'd missed an actor on the mark. Uh -huh. Nowadays, lots of actors don't want marks, especially Americans, especially young actors. They don't want this, but they'll wander wherever they want. If you're, if you're, if you've got most film, that, big films that have three cameras on set, one covering the action wide, one medium. And some poor sod on a 200mm lens following Tom Cruise around the set this size <laughs> and wide open because these work well wide open. Yeah. yeah. One one, one two, one three. 